for this movie, Deadpool 2, I am getting my head in the gutter if it's the last thing I do. I am prepared this time since watching Deadpool 1 not too long ago. I'm ready for his dark humor, his below the belt insults, and his really lowbrow communication skills, you know? He's a really dirty guy. I'm ready, you know, he really makes you stoop down in your mind. And I think I'm down there. I'm down, I'm down in the Deadpool-like sense of humor. I'm ready, I'm ready. If you're watching this early on Patreon, I love you. Patreon.com slash Colette Cherry is where I post all my movie reactions fully uncut. Check out my description box, I linked it there. Mwah. I love you guys. Let's watch Deadpool 2. Okay, we're starting with cigarette business, okay? We're making him look like he's doing something. <sighs> Gonna give us a deep, dark monologue, Deadpool, huh? Oh. <laughs> Dude, he hates Wolverine. Logan, I never saw that movie. What's his beef with Wolverine? The way he just pinned him on one of those things, his little... What is he doing? Is he gonna put his head in the oven? <gasps> you know that'll kill you, right? <laughs> oh, is he burning down this apartment? That's what he's doing. That's why he's got the sig and he's gonna throw the sig in the oven, isn't he? Oh, that was cool, the smoke coming out of the mask. Him and Vanessa, aww. Are you blowing yourself up on purpose? <laughs> Obviously, he's laying on tanks of, of gasoline. <laughs> His little foot in the Crocs. Why is he wearing Crocs? <gasps> Music stops. Wolverine. Oh, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> then the hairy mom ups the ante by dying. What a dick. He died before you, but you can't die. I'm dying in this one too. You can't die. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh. Love the shiny suit. Really brings out the sex trafficker in your eyes. <laughs> I don't bargain pumpkin. Do people do that with pumpkins in real life? Is that a real diss? <laughs> Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Oh! Look, the man can't die. You're wasting your bullets. They don't know that yet. We're just starting off with violence immediately. First, he blows himself to pieces. Now, he's gonna go and murder 10 mafia gang members. Is this Dolly Parton? Seems a little odd to play this. They love to sever body parts in Deadpool. Do not go in there. Oh, I don't think anybody was gonna, but okay. So he's just on a mass murdering spree. Ah, the arms, the little nubs. Ah! Why do they do this in this movie? What the heck, the man's decapitated. Look, they love to just sever off body parts. That is his style, like legs missing, head missing, arms missing. Oh my gosh, this is gory. Am I prepared for this? Can I do this right now? I'm doing it for you. Don't forget it. Scoutmaster uh, Kevin? Oh. Uh, you recognized him by his junk? Oh, he can strip My too? Tour brought me home to this guy. <laughs> the landing in the six inch heels. That's hard, guys. I'm so glad I left the kiddos at home. That babysitter of yours is high as right now. Ah, not true. I was a babysitter. I didn't do that. And believe it or not, Deadpool 2 is a family film. Absolutely, it's not. It's Every not. family film starts with a vicious murder. Of course. Bambi, the Lion King. I knew he was gonna bring this up. But this guy, he was one of the worst of them. Oh, he got away. Can you come out? I really have to go. It's my anniversary. I don't think that's gonna get him out, but... It's 20 dudes ready to blow him to pieces. Listen, confidence is not something you have. Oh. It's something you create. And you can create his bestie. A this is his only friend. They have a weird, weird relationship. Certainty that you can pull something off. You can create that feeling. I like how he's his getaway man. Like, why would he enroll in this? Like, I don't think he's cut out for this, but he seems to be okay with it. Whatever. Woo! Oh, I shit my pants. Actually, that may, that may have been me. Oh, oh, sick. Honestly, how do you not know for sure if you pooped your pants? Like, don't you know? Not speaking from experience, you sickos. I'm just saying, like, if you did that, 
Why are you saying maybe it was me? What do you mean maybe? Don talked about in the same sentence as Jesus. Passion of the Christ, then me. At least domestically. We beat the I guess he's talking about box office earnings, the passion of the Christ. We all need a sense of belonging. We all need a genuine sense of home, a place. I want to become home. a contract killer. Um, no. Like no. And threatened him Don't do that. Violence. He kind of killed him. Oh, <gasps> he did. When Tom Cruise fed ten-year-old Kirsten Dunn's blood for the first time, and she looked up at his smooth, handsome face and said, "I want some more." He's been tainted by Deadpool. I want some more. A oh, full picture of me, a 10 year old Kirsten Dunst. I don't think that's you. I don't see it. You're my Tom Cruise. And you're my Kristen Dunst. Kristen? Kirsten? Uh, it's Kirsten Dunst. There was a bunch of handy, capable children stuck in a tree, and I had to. I'm time. sure. You're right. I... It's their anniversary. Is it? Mm -mm. <laughs> Kiss me like you miss me, man. Well, come here. I'm sorry, but she's way out of his league. I get it. I get it that they have the same sense of humor, but <laughs> he's kind of a jerk. I want to shower and get out of this suit. It's a ski ball jump. Our first date. Yep. Aww. Open yours. Thank you. Oh, well, that's. Is that a hook? My IUD. <gasps> oh. How different. Uh, no. A birth control device. <gasps> she wants a baby. She wants a baby. Baby factory is open for business. Oh she wants god. him to knock her up. <laughs> oh my god, I want to. That is an interesting gift to say that you want a baby. Let's watch some footage of that Bedo's boss. Let's do that. Barbara Streisand is your idea of X rated so videos. Familiar. It doesn't really seem similar, but sure. Connor? It's a boy. May if it's a girl. His family was always a half word to me. Is it just me or does his skin look healthier? Like he has a glow to him, no? It's not as bad, you know? He looks better. He looks better. Maybe he's been moisturizing his skin more. Or maybe I'm more used to it. That's probably it. <laughs> In Star Wars, men are destined to become their father. No. And then have consensual sex with their sister. Oh. I think you missed big, big chunks of mm -mm. that movie. Yeah, that's not quite what happened. No, I'm pretty sure Luke nailed her. No. Maybe that's Empire. He did not. Okay, he did not. They did kiss, guys. And they had flirtatious behavior. Okay? They had attraction. But it didn't go further than that, okay? I don't believe that. That's a conspiracy theory. I don't like it. Also, I have that reaction on my channel. Check it out. Watch all the Star Wars movies. Uh, Earl. It's gonna go what? straight How's that? to jail. It's gonna come out. Earl? They do so much slow mo in Deadpool. Get down. Okay, she went behind the couch. Is she gonna get killed? Are we gonna. Something tells me she's about to die. Because there's a theme with Deadpool good things don't happen to him, bad things happen. And he's almost better off the more miserable he is. He's like, he's destined for a terrible life and terrible things to happen. But I swear if they kill her 12 minutes into this movie, I'm gonna be livid. Like we need her in this film. She gives such good feminine energy. I'm not happy about this. They're gonna kill her. Baby, baby. Get up. Oh, she's fine. She's fine. Okay. Oh, thank God I didn't have to use the cream cheese spreader. Ah! <clears throat> Oh, no! No! Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't shoot her. Don't shoot her. Oh, no! Slow mo. No. Oh, no. That's fatal. Seriously? You really gotta do this? Just makes it so much more dramatic showing it in slow motion too. I like that choice from the director. I'm so sad. This is why he blew up his place. I got it. Cause he's he's angry. Killing that guy is not going to make you feel better, but you should kill him because he just killed the love of your life and your future baby mama. Gosh. 
on their anniversary too? This is so messed up. Oh, that's karma. Yeah, you're not gonna get away. Dark. This movie is dark. I'm not gonna lie. It's not my cup of tea, these kind of like depressing dark movies, but... There are other aspects of this film that I appreciate though. Even though like the storyline is really depressing, you know, it's different. And I like that. And I love the slow-mo aspect. I'm gonna keep bringing it up. He's hugging him. Oh. Gosh, it caught me off guard. Okay, we're not even 20 minutes in. 15 minutes in, and they've taken the love of his life. He did say that somebody's gotta die in family-friendly movies, right? It is true that a lot of Disney movies and child movies, like somebody dies, the mom, an anime too, like dead mom, dead dad, dead family. But we spent so much time with Vanessa. <laughs> Presented by What the F? I like how they just rip <laughs> rip apart every aspect of a movie starring obviously someone who hates sharing the spotlight. You know, like every aspect, the opening, the credits, the plot. There's just this huge satire from beginning to end. <laughs> the butt shot. What is falling on him? <laughs> is this a thirst trap of Deadpool right now? That's cool. With the finger. I like how the opening song is Celine Dion too. <laughs> Very Titanic, okay? But, uh, mm -hmm. Aww. He's seen the song that they were watching when she died. Oh, he's got her little coin right there. Guys, this is gonna send him over the edge and he's already off the edge. So he's like gonna be way messed up. Kubler Ross, yeah. According to the Kubler Ross <laughs> model, denial is just one of the five stages of grief. Jesus Christ, fuck. I like how he's comforting him. This guy doesn't look like he's a big teddy bear, but he totally is a big teddy bear. He's a softie inside, guys. No more speaking lines for you. <laughs> no more speaking lines, you're cut! I like how in the movie Deadpool, they hint at the fact we're watching a movie. They constantly throw lines in that let the audience know they're aware that this is a set of people in costumes with lines that they're speaking. None of it's real. They hint at that. They're not afraid to be like, this is a fake movie with a fake story, by the way. Ha ha. I like that. It takes you out of it for a second, though, which usually when watching a film, when you get taken out of the storyline, like he just did with that line, it's not a good thing. Because I'm like, wait, what? This is a movie? Oh yeah, it's a movie. This isn't real. But they can get away with it. Because of the humor and because of the style, it works. But a lot of movies, when you get taken out of it, when you notice something that's a very movie movie and you notice something that's very fake in a movie, it totally ruins it. It ruins the vibe. But in this case, he constantly lets the audience know, like, hey, this is a movie. We don't freaking care that you know that this is fake. It's fake. Guess what? They don't care. The director's got big balls. Lucky I didn't shoot you in the wall. The refrigerator? I was hard to beat. It wouldn't have done anything. Oh, he's in pain. She's gone. Sweetheart, can you speak up? He'll never be able to move on from her. There's no one out there for him other than her. I'm sorry. I don't usually say that because that seems silly. But she was, she was his perfect match. They were a match made in heaven. Like, they were created for each other. So that's really sad. Now look, sugar, you need to just keep living. Thank you, Matthew McConaughey. Your words are a treasure. <laughs> hey, he's got some good quotes. Pain teaches us who we are, Will. That's a big motto for him. Pain teaches you who you are, um, unfortunately. It's such an anime way of looking at life. Deadpool, loosely based on anime. No, I'm kidding. I know that this comic book was written a long time ago. I'm just saying. They both have similar themes in that way. Anime, a lot of animes I've watched was based off pain. Sometimes it's so bad, we feel like we're dying. Yeah. But we can't really live till we die to live with him. That's good. That's a good way of looking at it. She's sweet. And that's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. 
You're what did he just put under his bed? <gasps> oh my, what would that do? Did he just put that whole thing in his face? You can't really live until you've died a little. Yeah. Let's test that theory, shall we? So he's gonna blow himself up. <gasps> yes. He can't quite get to her. She's blocked off. My heart's not in the right place. <gasps> wait, 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 hold on, what, what, what? That's blocking him? Wait, 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 what is that? What, what do you mean my heart's not in the right place? What is it? does that mean? Oh, so he got to see her for an instant when he died, but he can't get to her. There's a blockage. Dang, that's deep. So now this whole movie is going to be about him getting to the root cause of this reason his heart isn't in the right place. Like what, what can he do to open up his heart? He's going to have to find love and friendship and family or something. He's going to have to. I mean, if his heart's not in the right place, he's got to open up his heart. So it's a journey of him finding himself. Cool. I like it. Oh. I'm terribly sorry for your loss, Wade. You are broken. Oh, oh he's gonna take him to help. Him. That voice. He's in the body bag being just hit <laughs> on his head. Understatement of the year. <gasps> Wade. Hey. Yukio Wade. Yukio, she's cute. What am I supposed to do around here anyway? Sit in a share circle, <gasps> talk about my feelings? Is that Xavier's wheelchair? <laughs> Where the is everyone charles xavier's wheelchair it is okay also i when i watched dr strange and wanda i got some comments that were shocked that i didn't know x-men was connected to the marvel world but then i read that they actually didn't have the rights to bring back the x-men in the in the 33 marvel movies that i watched and actually they just got it back so that's why they couldn't start start including them again is that true I don't know. Carrying three feet off the ground to snatch up the nearest muffin crumb? <gasps> Wait! Oh, James McAvoy. He's an X-Men. Don't know any of these guys, to be honest. One of the assholes who killed Vanessa got away. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, he didn't get away, I thought. I thought you rammed him into a trap. It was me. What? One of the assholes got away. Oh. I killed every last one of them, except me. You think you're to blame? Couldn't kill me. Because you can't die. This may not be family you want, but it's family you need. Yeah, accept his invitation. You have a good heart. It belongs here where it can grow. Yeah. There it is. <gasps> my heart. Yes, that's how you get to Vanessa. You gotta work on your heart. I think I'm in the right place. Are you grabbing his butt? Rude. <laughs> you just let him do it. Who's that? Got a crazy scar right here. Oh, here's our villain. Is this the Terminator? It reminds me of the Terminator. Oh. Who are you after, buddy? Are you after Deadpool? Obviously, that's gonna be who he's after. Man, just time traveled out of there by pressing a button. Wait, I just uh, was just taking Cerebro for a spin here. Deep into the future. Ooh, what is that? The future? That's a terrible idea and it's gonna end badly. You wanna know how I know? I'll give you a hint. It's on my head and it smells like Patrick Stewart. He didn't say Charles Xavier as if that's a real person. He said the name of the actor who plays him to let us know, yeah, that's a fake person, that's not real. But he plays that X-Men character. <laughs> it's just little details like that that really make you go, wait, what? Why did he bring up his real name? I like how he's wearing the jersey. Looks good. X. He's got it on the shirt, guys. You're the one who said I was ready, and I frankly disagree with you. But here we are, trying to overcome our differences. Like Beyonce said, please stop cheating on me. Did she say that? I don't think so. Here, Russell belongs in our care. I assure you we have everything under control. I'm not getting a real under control vibe here, Marty. Yeah, his hands are on fire. Let me talk to the kid. You stay here with your... Weird secret sex lips. <laughs> Does he have sex lips? <laughs> Stay back or Justin Bieber dies. <laughs> Justin Bieber, he called you Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that's funny, that's funny. This is Russell, right? Fire fist. Fire fist. Ooh. Great mate. Where does it burn? Just the fist or all the way up to the elbow? <laughs> I think he was actually being genuine there. He just really wanted to know. Everything he says sounds sarcastic. It's his tone that's bad. You're embarrassing me. Look. Fire. Fire. Oh, my. 
<laughs> Never mind. I actually thought he was being genuine. You jerk! The exact opposite of what they're meant for. <laughs> I'll start. <laughs> I like his double take. Your body is going through some fiery changes. Too far. I went too far. <laughs> that was effervescent. Uh, stay in school, kid. Or don't. I didn't. Is he signing the box? Trainee. Superhero landing <laughs> coming up. Let me see what he signed there. It's on a box of Wolverine. Look, Wolverine's a real X-Men. You're a trainee. Don't forget it. Ryan Reynolds. See, he doesn't say Deadpool. He signs his real name. I like what they're doing. I'm going to try to point out every time they let the audience know that this is a fake movie. How many times do they want us to know? Like 10 times? 20 times? <gasps> oh! 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 This sword didn't even hit him on the right side. That was absolutely thrilling. Who's that? We can take it from here. Take me to the ice box, please. I knew we was better than here. The ice box. Let's get you mm -mm. inside, young man. No, no, wait, wait, wait. You just, you guys stay there. <laughs> I still can't get over this guy that he called. <laughs> he said he had sex lips. What does that even mean? This is just so random. I feel like that was improvised. He just said it. Those guys hurt you? They hurt him? Jared Kushner? Oh, Jared Kushner has sex lips. They hurt him? Oh, that's bad. They abused the kid. When the ugly stuff, no one else will do. He's gonna kill him. He killed sex lips. What did you do? He said, don't kill anyone. Sometimes you gotta fight dirty. You let me down the last time, maybe. Oh, he's gonna knock him out. I feel like he's, yeah, he kind of, kind of messed up. You didn't have to shoot the guy. Wonder what gang I'll be in. Ew. Is there like a sorting hat? Ah. <laughs> sorting hat. I'm Deadpool. I'm in Hufflepuff. No, he'd be a Slytherin. The disgusting mutant off the streets. God bless America. It's good to talk on. Oh. <laughs> Look, kid, you're kind of the reason he's there. He stood up for you and no one else did, so get him out. This reminds me of Guardians of the Galaxy when they get locked up. They find a way out, you know. There's a way. They're soft, they're moist, they're babies. Uh oh. Finally, one more pass with the toilet paper. Make uh, dude, you're about to get killed by an, a naked man? I don't know, is he naked? He's got a suit. Yeah, he's got a cool suit on, never mind. Oh, he jumps through time. What year is it? Some dumbass question is that bad. Right. Oh, oh, that's efficient. Just one little zap and they're out. There's a pair of balls in the truck. That is vile. First thing I want to do when I get out of here, burn that headmaster alive. <gasps> and then take a selfie with the smile. No, don't do that. Hey, it's mm. Oh. Ew, blessed are the wicked. Dude, he's acting like he's God. Oh, they torture them. Oh, yeah, that's the guy with the lips. But no one's ever seen it. We keep a monster in the basement. Yeah. Right next to a huge steaming bowl of foreshadowing. Again, took us out of the movie. <laughs> Looked at the audience and said, this is foreshadowing. I like how they're not afraid to also give us hints about what's coming in the plot. They're not afraid. They're like, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. Just so you know, they're not afraid. They really don't give a crap about revealing anything. And that eye contact that he just gave us, like, dang. I saw that guy's pen and stashed in the old prison wallet, if you know what I'm saying. Ew, what are you doing? Prison don't do that. Don't, do, don't show us any of this. Come on, I don't want to see this. I One thing I don't like, yeah, I don't like when people show pee on <laughs> in movies. I think it's disgusting. You know how some people can't stand when people like vomit. I can't stand when people 
go to the bathroom in movies. Peer poop, not, it makes me just disgusted. I just don't want to see that from people. It's like, is there any more privacy in this world? Can we just keep something's private? What comes out of your private parts is not for me to see. Look at his neck. This guy is Arnold Schwarzenegger in the Terminator. Entering repair mode. Is he part machine? Oh, he is the Terminator, literally. I like how we're basically halfway with the movie and we don't know what this villain is about at all. He took the little bear. Don't, don't do that. So what? Why are you winking at me? <laughs> He's playing it cool, guys. Well, Seth, I gotta protect you. Just leave me alone, kid. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, these are the big guys. I yeah. see some fresh faces around here. <laughs> I've done some light catalog work, but really modeling is just a stepping <laughs> stone to acting. <laughs> Find the biggest guy and make him your. <gasps> Was he about to stab the pen in him? The last thing I need is more hepatitis. Oh. Ew. More? More? How much you got? You're about to get <laughs> Look, the kid's got some good lines, but he needs to sharpen his moves. You know, he's gotta gotta get better. And I was like, oh, let's take a sea shift. Just let me die in peace. Like, leave him alone. Oh, Dude, you didn't even get hurt. He got pummeled. Oh, God, he looks awful. Oh, somebody got out. Oh, he's there. He's there to bust him out. He's looking for Deadpool, obviously. Hello, Russell. He wants the kid. So he's now going to protect the kid. Oh, but he can't heal. Because his powers. Oh. Why is this so gross? Oh, I saved him. Oh, 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 the way his body's bent. I don't need to see this, but he's at least got his collar off, so now we can heal. That looks so painful. That looks so painful, dude. God. Snapped in half. He doesn't look good like that. How did he just turn into Jello? He's back. Oh. Oh. So only part of his body is metal, actually, it looks like. Because he can hurt some parts, but he can't the other. <laughs> what kind of spineless shit stick tries to kill a 14 year old boy? Yeah, what's wrong with you? What point do audiences say, enough with the robotic arms? Oh, why am I watching this? This is so gross. Uh-oh, not the, not the coin from Vanessa. You gotta get that back. Something to remember you by. Yeah, give me that back. Don't take it. No, that's his only thing of hers. Are you protecting the kid? He loves him. Oh, fuck about him. And his are you my mother complex. The kid was sad because he heard that. In every film, there's a moment when the hero hits rock bottom. Rock? Aww, he <sighs> oh, he... Oh, why are they disgusting me in this film? see Vanessa again though that's one benefit of dying I think the boy's the key to him opening his heart guys Nats, can you let me in please please not until you're nice to the kid and you get a family and friends let's give us a chance to make him who we used to be the kid the kids the opportunity you gotta get him back oh, oh look at his head dude it's like dented in I don't like that at all it means I'm gonna save Russell how? So maybe I can save a robust teenager from New Zealand. Yeah, but I will, or I mean, if I mm, can't work. So maybe. Is that really gonna make a difference? Jesus Christ. It does mean that. Yeah, Jesus saves. We need to build a team. We need to be tough, morally flexible. So you're gonna build a team. Is that really his vibe, though? All right, I'll put out a call for resumes, but we're not paying medical or dental. This is no corporate job, all right? Still, they're not explaining much, okay? We're almost an hour in. All we know is dude's from the future and he's half metal. Oh yeah, that was his child that was burnt to a crisp, I think. Hello? 
He's gonna talk to the big guy, the biggest one. He's gonna give him some pudding. How, how sweet. We're a team. We're like thugs. We're, We're like a team. Can we see the big boy? <laughs> I want to see him. How big is he? No, I spit acidic vomit. Oh. Ew. You want me to demonstrate? No. Ew. How do you make out with people? There's a reason I'm here. And I'll know when I know. Everything usually works out for me. Luck isn't a superpower. It's not, honey. I was going to just bring it back to that. Yes, it is. Let's meet in the middle and say no at each other. <laughs> <laughs> just let her in. Let her in. Come on. Are you catfished here? Or any powers you want to tell us about? Any, uh, <laughs> nope. Old photo. I, I don't have one. Um, I just saw the ad and thought it looked fun. <laughs> Look, everyone's allowed in, okay? <laughs> I think people think they understand pain. How did we get him? What, did I miss that? You got missed. His name's Cable. Russell's in a convoy heading southbound on Gary <laughs> Duggan Parkway. The monster's with them. I wouldn't fuck with him. He got it all. You know what? I so... wouldn't fuck with Deadpool either because he's built a team. He's unstoppable. He His team is, you know, so so. I don't know about that. Watch out for this guy, Cable. Yeah. Very short, 5'11, not like in the comics. Yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> He's supposed to be bigger? After than Cable, I warn you. There's a wind advisory in effect. He squealed like a freaking pig. He didn't even have to torture him. He didn't have to even make him feel pain. He just blabbed it all. I was always appalled by the blatant sexism in the group's name. X-Men? Men? The point is, our group will be forward thinking. Oh, really? You have a problem with X-Men? It's sexist? I think I saw something in the X-Men movie about Jennifer Lawrence's line in that movie she played Mystique. I've seen a clip of her saying something about it's not X-Men. X woman so is he making reference to that line i think people made fun of it that's why i saw the clip from now on we'll be known as what x-force x-force isn't that a little derivative i don't recall asking your opinion peter that wasn't me <laughs> that was domino he's really bad with names look at these gorgeous sons of it. they look terrible <laughs> the way they're flipping around <laughs> Oh, oh! Okay, you got this. Come on, come on, somebody have a good landing. Sage left, you idiot! <gasps> oh, I'm so grossed out. See, the wind can't blow what it can't see. Oh, can anyone survive? Really? Is that Brad Pitt? What in the heck did I just witness? What is going on? When did Brad Pitt get here? Did I just notice it? That is him! Sugar Bear, you got this, buddy. That's the stuff. That's the X Force spirit. The X Force spirit. Just ask anyone in Brooklyn. <laughs> we You're a it. goddamn superhero, you. X Force. He made it. He's gonna die. Something's gonna happen. <laughs> oh! Save him at least. Save him. Don't go both in there. Don't go. No! I cannot watch this. I don't like this. I'm taking out. Oh! What the frick? This is disgusting. Oh! <laughs> oh! I am not gonna sit here and be like. <laughs> this is so good. This is vile. Disgusting. This is not good. This is terrible. If I was in the theater, I would have walked out. I'm, I want to abandon it, but I'm already halfway. They're headed into the tunnel. Is it the only one left? The lucky girl? Well, she did say she was lucky. She was She was right. It kind of is a superpower. Luck is not a superpower. We are so f No, we certainly not. Oh no, she's definitely the coolest out of all of them. It's certainly not very cinematic. No, no. I mean, luck. They definitely had a bigger budget for this film. I'll give them that. Up with that little chestnut. Probably. Oh, his gun didn't go off. Dang, she really is lucky in every aspect. Everything is missing her by this much. Please don't kill her. She made it this far. Can we let one of them survive? Once again, it all falls on my shoulders. Hey, she's got the friend back at least. I'm in. How in the f are you in already? That was quick. It's cable, 12 o'clock. Okay. <laughs> Here he comes. Use all of your imaginary powers to stop Cable from killing that kid. I'm coming up on your six. 
I like how they played into the point that he's shorter than he actually is in the comic books. It's better for you to play into it. For example, if you're making a movie and something's just really bad, one thing you can do is add that into the scene, into the script. Like, play with it and use it to your advantage rather than being in a situation in the scene where you're like, oh, this is so bad, this doesn't make any sense. Play into that fact. Like this example is he is so much shorter than he's supposed to be the comic book that they felt like they had to bring that up. Oh, ow. That's painful, man. <laughs> the position that he's in right now. <laughs> She really is lucky. He came in just in time. Give me back my ski ball token. <laughs> oh, that guard that he's able to put up is cool. Yes, dubstep never dies. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's a fucking Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, luck's running out. Mind slowing us down. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, she's gonna have to ram into a lot of people, a lot of buildings. There's gonna be a lot of casualties for this. Oh, he's out. Good job, kid. You hijacked your way out. <gasps> Holy, that's the big boy. I've been wanting to see the big boy. Looks like Russell found a new friend. Jelly. <gasps> Oh. Turns out Domino's a bit of a badass. Domino is a bad baddie. That guy's in the mood. <laughs> mood that is about to get significant. He's gonna put his crotch in his face. Yep. Gross. Gross. Oh, did his, he his head get turned around? Something oh. is so terribly, terribly wrong. Uh, uh. Don't do it. Don't snap it. Yeah. The way they use sound effects in this movie, I'm scarred. I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. I really wish I didn't watch this movie. If I could go back in time and unwatch some of these scenes, I would. Russell, Russell, you're okay. <laughs> oh, thank God. Uh oh, uh oh. Dude, that off. guy's so big. I thought that was you. Jug he knows him. He calls him Juggernaut. Uncanny X Men, one eighty three, Thor four eleven, <laughs> X Men Unlimited twelve. Is he gonna come and punch him? Yeah. I'm gonna rip you in half now. <laughs> no. Juggernaut thing to say. Oh, oh. No, no. Oh. Why? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I can't feel my legs. I can't. I can't feel Why? <laughs> I'm going to burn that kid master alive. You're not. Don't do it, kid. Just stop. Stop. You sit at yourself. I'm not your friend. Find someone stronger. So I did. Russell, oh I gosh. couldn't protect you back then. Yeah, he couldn't. He was trying to save you. Now now he wants to help. I think we may have found oh, your cosmic reason for being gosh, here. Gosh, it's gross. I'm pretty sure this isn't it. This family really is an F word. <laughs> oh, love my legs, mama. No, don't show me the baby legs. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Why is your hand so tiny again? It's not my hand. Oh, Mary Mother. Joseph! What was it? Ew, what is wrong with you? Why wouldn't you cover that up? Don't show us. Nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, you do. I hate this movie. Oh. Wow. Cool your pits. They're growing back. Ew. I'm talking about Ew. his face. Oh, she's never seen his face. Husband beat me within an inch of my life. He was torturing me. But all I told <laughs> him was everything he wanted to know. <laughs> That's a good line. All I told him was everything he wanted to know. He's standing right behind. There he is. Look, I think he just wants to talk. You picked the wrong shithole to fuck. <laughs> His legs. Don't, don't open. What the heck just popped out of his legs? What was that thing that came out of his... <sighs> I'm so stressed. Wait, 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 wait. I want to do mine over. Give us the line again. I need your help. Oh, so he maybe isn't the villain. Friend's about to make his first kill. No offense, but if you know so much, why not travel back to when he was a baby? Kill him then. That's a reference to Thanos. Because they said just go back in time and kill him when he's a baby. Just so messed up. Your boy's gonna kill the headmaster of the orphanage tonight. After that, he gets a real taste for it. Yeah, he's gonna turn into the real villain. Until one day he kills the wrong the people. My people. Oh, he ends up killing his family. That's why he wants the boy. When he was trying to hurt me. Exactly how to do it. Oh 
Oh no, that's him grown up. Oh, it's so messed up. You took the only thing that made it a home. He does give me Thanos vibes every now and then. Sound familiar? I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, he does know that pain. But nothing that can't be fixed. Nothing you can that go back <laughs> and stop the people that took your girl. Would you? Yes, he would in a second. I'm asking you to save hundreds of other kids. Else is gonna burn down an orphanage. <gasps> Give me a chance to save him. Yeah, yeah, give him the chance. I promise you, give me a chance. I'll put him on a different path. This is how he's gonna change his heart, you guys. Look at the little fella he's doing. There he goes. <laughs> he's doing it. Just shirt cocking. Uh, here he goes. No! Come on, give it to him. I bet 50 years from now we're best as buddies. 50 years from now, you're very dead. Your entire <gasps> generation is planted into a coma. Oh, he's probably excited about that. My heart is in the right place. Russell's not going to kill anyone. <laughs> because of me, he's going to know what real love looks like. He's really turning things around. Like, you got to get all these people out before he comes and kills them. Or you got to give him a, like, hype-up speech and get him not to kill them. I don't know which route he's going to take, but probably the speech. Like, you don't have to do this. I made mistakes. I want to take them back. He's mad at him. Mm. So stay here in Chateau de Virgin <laughs> while we go get off. Nice line. You did it too. Real deep. I think it worked. He's gonna come out any second. So you wear that helmet because your brother oh, tried man. to Never mind. Yeah, but he's in a wheelchair, so we can see. <gasps> oh, he's related to Patrick Stewart, Charles Xavier. Where is he? He's not even in this movie. He's dead. That's what it is. Yeah, you said we gotta fuck some shit up. Let's uh -oh. some shit up is my legal middle name. Good line. So cool. You're so cool. You're a tough boy. Time to make the chimichangas. 30 seconds. <laughs> Don't do it, kid. You're worth more than this. It's too far gone. Zip it, Thanos. We have a deal. You Thanos. He is like Thanos. I made that connection. I'm gonna shove that cab driver right up your ass. Uh, ew. You should probably get back, your... back to the car. Yeah, you shouldn't be here. It's not your place, buddy. Works best when you pull the trigger. Yeah, it does. <gasps> oh, that's efficient. You are real confident he's not gonna kill you if you scream he's an abomination to his face when he has fire and you don't. Ew! Why? The amount of times that Deadpool has died in painful, disgusting ways, hundreds of times. This music is making it so intense. Take it out of your head. Just pull it out. I don't want to see you pull it out. Can you please get it out? It's bothering me. Is he going to see Vanessa again? Oh, never mind. Oh, look, see, he does love people. That's so cute. Oh, they look good together. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. Hey, make them someone your own size. That's such a you thing to say. Yeah, is, is he even measurable up to Juggernaut? Big CGI fight coming up. Thanks for letting us know. He let us know again. Just so you know, this is super fake. They really want us to be aware it's all fake. I mean, you gotta play into it, right? It's ridiculous, some of these CGI moments in Marvel. It's over the top, but it's fun. He's a good actor. <laughs> How much longer of this movie do I have to go through? 30 more minutes. I'm traumatized. Really? Why are they clapping? How many decapitations are in a Deadpool movie on average? 30? I don't want to be desensitized. I want to keep my innocence in my brain. I'm not allowing it to happen. I need a bus to get you all out of here. Well, that's luck. You got one. Look, I'm going to fight with her. If there's anybody I want on my team, it's Domino. And she's hot. 
Don't kill him. Don't do it. Wait. He hasn't killed anyone yet. Yeah, don't don't. Don't you dare. Let him decide. I'm gonna melt you down and make a offering. <laughs> Good idea. I never wanted to see his butt. I never wanted to see it. What did I witness? Did he just, he just did that. He stuck it and then, gosh. I'm gonna have nightmares. I'm already having nightmares. I'm not even asleep yet. <laughs> Can we just stop for a second? Poor Juggernaut's getting electrocuted out of his butt. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Does it? Now give up and calm down. He hurt you badly. Yeah. Makes you want to hurt others. If we kill him, he wins. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. You become everything he says yep. you are, or worse. You're just a kid. Stay a kid. I never should have left you there. Mm. See, he opened his heart. This is what Vanessa wanted for him. This is how he gets to her in the end. I cannot trust anybody! <gasps> Ow! Seriously? It's not looking too good. He just burned him to a crisp. I got one more idea. He looks pretty burnt. It's just a really bad one. Even for me. Wait, what are you doing? Alright, this is for all the marbles, kid. <gasps> so you can't heal? Push it on the weapon! Then it's gotta be me. Well, heal by my head! Don't do it, kid. Tomorrow, Annie. <laughs> these these slow mo points never get old. I like it. I like it. He shot him, but it's gonna be Deadpool who took the bullet. Yep. He saved himself for him. He took a bullet for you, kid. Realize that he loves you. Tell me. As the sun comes up, the sun goes down. I don't know. Bear. Mm -hmm. It worked. Oh wait, so that means the kids didn't die then? The kid and the mom? Because it turned from like covered in her blood to back to normal? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so sorry. Don't be, don't be, I'm trying to make this happen for a while. He's trying to die. I don't want to die without an audience. We are not doing anything. <laughs> oh, Can you see what I watch? The Academy's watching. The Academy, they are watching. Good job, Ryan. I think this is when Ryan Gosling did win the Oscar. Okay. What? He's really dead. And he's saying, Papa, can you find me in this last day? Dude, what? Before I go, oh, sorry, I got a bit more in me. <laughs> he's not dead yet, guys. Say something for me. Just once. Come on, we'll do it together. It's no big deal. Just cuss one time. Wow. Enjoy He hell, did it. Swamp mouth. <laughs> He just wanted that satisfaction of him stooping to his level. Promise me one thing. Mm. That you'll start judging people not by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Wow, oh, that's beautiful. I've heard that before. <laughs> Look, family is not an F word. All right? This is the most drawn out speech before death. Guys, for a second there, we made a pretty good team. We made a great team. Don't die though. Tell me to take off the collar. I've had enough of this. Is it impossible to take off? Oh, he dead dead now. Oh, it's so hard to go. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying so hard. I no, don't I believe it. Like I I, I don't believe it. You have no. I have trust issues. Wanna build a stone pack? <laughs> no, not really. Not right now. I wanna give you a hug. Oh, we got to reach her finally. I would have loved her to be in this movie more, but it's okay. <gasps> I guess there's no third Deadpool. They are cute together. Deadpool really made a difference here. He helped a lot of people. Now he can go back home. Everyone gets a happy ending. Maybe it was worth me watching after all. You mean it's not time yet? We have to go back. There's gonna be a, a, a third. Kiss me like you miss me, Red. Come here. Yes, I'll be gone. Oh, they went back? Oh, 
Somebody swipe right. <laughs> He's just gonna do it a different way without dying this time. Pretty cool. So that's what he chose to rewind, huh? You time sliding son of a He didn't go back to his family, he went back to him. Mm hmm Wait. You can't go back. Yeah, what? That's deep. No, I'm gonna stick around for a while. Yeah? The world that can shit itself into oblivion. That's good. You're gonna prevent the world from dying. How sweet. Three mutants are gonna rot in hell! Look, shut up. The day of reckoning is here. Oh, one last violent kill. They had to do it. They couldn't not do it. They had to do it. Dope finger. One pinch of courage, a cup of good luck, a dab of racism, <laughs> a of diabetes and a wheelbarrow full of stage four cancer. You get the X people. A family. Oh, a family. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It's family friendly film. Yeah, family friendly, my ASS. We all need to belong to someone. No, that was the most X rated, nasty, gratuitous thing directed by David Letch. Okay. I hope you sharpen your cream cheese for this. <gasps> oh, I wish that's what happened. Oh. <gasps> He got the time ability. He's gonna save his whole team. <laughs> leave, leave. He's gonna save everybody. Who is that? Is that you? That's Deadpool. Striker finally figured out how to shut you off. <laughs> he did cover his mouth, huh? Uh, what? Is that another version of Deadpool? Cleaning up the timeline. The timeline. What is that, a variant? Like, what is going on here? Jeez, chill. It's like me in video games. I gotta shoot them 40 times. He killed him before he could be in Green Lantern. Oh. You're welcome, Canada. Because it wasn't, it didn't, it wasn't well received, right? You're welcome, Canada. So I definitely went out of my comfort zone again for that movie, but I can appreciate the gratuitous nature of it, okay? I get what they're doing. I get what they're trying to pull off and it's very cool. It's very unique. I stand for it, but man, were some of those scenes difficult for me to watch. I really wanted to cover my eyes, but I know that's not the point of a reaction. You have to actually watch it and react. But if I was really watching that in the theater, I would have gone like this a ton. But hey, now I gotta live with some of those scenes for the rest of my life. Lots of decapitation. Lots of body parts flying in the air. <sighs> Anyways, I won't sleep well. <laughs> Thanks for being a part of this channel. I love you guys. And subscribe if you want to see more movie reactions. We got a lot more to watch. Maybe I should watch X-Men next. Let me know what you think. Bye.